Hey, you guys. Welcome back to the sistership with Kurde. Dami. Um, we are going to continue. Sorry, if you haven't listened to part one, you might want to pause this. I go back. back. Yeah, go back and listen to part one because um, we're going to continue unpacking our dating experiences. Yeah. I think we can say that we have had really great, have had or we have present tense. We have great role models, oh, yeah, married no, no, no. dating great role models, models, like people that we can look up to and they give us examples of what we want for ourselves. But then naturally, like you look into things and we see what we don't necessarily want. So like <laughs> when we were talking about it, I was saying a cheeky cost, cost benefit analysis. Yeah. Like you're able to draw from the positives. You're able to look at the things that are not so much, that not so suited to you and be like, yeah. And like <laughs> you got to figure out what is a yes and what's a no. Like, mm-hmm. Like, do you have any examples that you feel like you could share? Of what's a yes? Yeah. Or something that I've noticed from, okay, a married couple. Yeah, that you look up to. Um, yeah. One thing is... I'm trying to find the right word. <laughs> Take your um, time. It is how... Like how in love Okay Cute um, They still are with each other mm. I think The fact that Yeah I think this particular couple Is just How my uncle Basically like Treats my auntie like, Lovely you, you can't dispute That the they love. love Each other You can't yeah. dispute the love Like Sometimes my auntie Be asking crazy things <laughs> Okay, let me give an example. So anytime I'd go to my auntie's house, yeah, um, like the, everybody, everybody knows that auntie. If you know me, you know that auntie. Mm. Um, anytime I'd go there, I would obviously stay there, and I would stay there for ages. Yeah. So I didn't live too far from them at the yeah. time. I was living in Campbell, which is still like a 20, 25 minute drive, and my uncle would be asleep. Mm. When it's time for me to go home, my auntie will be like, oh, don't worry, uncle will drop you. And I'm just like, I'm like auntie, you know, like, chill. Like, I get the bus <laughs> home, it's cool, don't worry about it. Like, don't disturb him. And she'll go, like, she'll go into the room, she'll close the door, she'll be like, you know, like, she's going home, like, let's drop her, let's drop her. <laughs> then I'll just see my uncle come out of the room, oh, and he's got, his, he's got his tracksuit on, got his shoes on, and he's dropping me home. And it's like, I just know they're just so in love, like, for you to inconvenience yourself because your wife has asked you for something, yeah. I think that's something that's really important to me. Mm-hmm. Someone who's ready to go out of their way for their partner, because I feel like I would be the same. My auntie goes out of her yeah. way for him, and she's done that over the period of their relationship. Like their relationship hasn't been easy, mm. um, but she's always really been there for him, and I feel like he really holds on to that, and that's why he treats her how he treats her. Mm. Um, he literally treats her like an egg. Um, <laughs> like, yeah. don't. If you, yep. if you move this way, it will break. That's how my uncle cheats her. Literally, literally. Um, that's, I think that's so that's funny. One that thing, was going to be mine. One thing that I really, <laughs> really love about watching them. Mm. Um, what's one thing that I don't love? I actually don't have anything. Yeah, I Because I feel fair. like the things that I see that are not necessarily nice, that they're normal, they happen in relationships, like the little tiffs. Yeah. And then not talking to each other because they're tight, but... That's at the normal. end of the day, they're gonna go to bed and they're gonna be they're gonna be okay. Like they're gonna wake up the next morning. It's a new day. Yeah. It's a new day for us to have a good relationship. Yeah, I feel like that's one thing that I really love. Cute. Um. Yeah. What about you? I was gonna talk about like the treating someone like an treating the person like an egg, but I'm gonna think of something else. I do feel like um, uh, I look at my parents' relationship and I feel like my dad allows my mom to be her. Yes. Uh, he allows my mom to be her in the same way that her my mom eccentric soul. allows my dad to be him. They are a unit. Do you know what I mean? They are yeah. very together, but at the same time, they are very individual. Separate. Like yeah. they still have their own lives. My mom pursues her business. She pursues her. Um, I was going to say. <laughs> I was going to say extracurricular. extracurricular activities. My mom is so like she's flamboyant. She's expressive. She's, she's eccentric. out there. She's eccentric. She's an outgoing person, yeah. and like that reflects in the way that she dresses in the way that she does her hair in the way that she like she she's on social media like she's she is um in the way that she like talks to her clients her like the children my mom's uh, also in the education business but like how she deals with that like the way that she goes about things is just expressive and is out there mm-hmm. she is very much 
like an extrovert. Yeah. My dad, on the other hand, is su- supremely introverted. introverted yeah. And it's not like one has forced the other to come into their shell or yeah. like to br- to come out of their shell. I had noticed that they they are they bounce off they of bounce each off each, each of each other. It, I may be dyslexic, but I know some words. <laughs> <laughs> you're not serious but like their relationship reflects the idea of now they work playing well to each other's strengths really well mm-hmm. um they work well together in that sense personality wise but obviously like it, behind the scenes as well there are things that my mum might deal with my dad might deal with do you yeah. know what i mean so like they've they've figured out what works for them and they do it really well so they are a unit but they're still very individual mm-hmm. and i love that because i'm also i'm also quite out there i'm my mum's daughter <laughs> what can i say i'm a mother's child um, um i feel like my personality is very similar to hers this is why we might butt heads from time to time but i love her nonetheless mm-hmm. um but that's natural mothers and daughters what can we say um nonetheless like i feel like their relationship works really really well and yeah. i would love to be in a situation where yeah, i have someone who is understanding like my dad, who doesn't try to box me in, that still allows me to be mm-hmm. me, still allows me to express myself, try things out. Do you know what I mean? So that's what I would say. And in terms of a negative, I feel like it's the same thing. Like you're going to see like arguments or like a tear for this that, and the other. Yeah. But then even in those situations, they still find ways to like get over it and move on. Yeah. Um, they're patient with one another in those instances, especially when it's heated or somebody's tight. That's one. That's another value that I really love. Like um, their, their relationship. Yeah, actually. like they they shall really have patient. to. They, yeah, patience. I think is another one. Um, and lucky for us, like earlier this year, my mum sat down with us in it. Like we went out with her after church. Mm-hmm. She came to visit our church when we were like babies newbies. in it newbies novices and um like we went for lunch it was us and then our other two girls Anu and brenda and like we had she made us think long and hard yeah <laughs> about yeah, she gave us some time about, to think about a list about what our, we wanted in our future partners yeah um and she made us create lists um so that we could look at them so that they could be things that she could pray over we could pray over um and it just helps you to to be intentional. intentional about dating. Yeah. And I feel like when you're intentional, it allows you to focus on the importance. Yep. Yeah. Um, we can now it's weigh so things easy up. to get whisked, whisked away, away. Yeah. Um, and lose your wits and then not see the Potential dazzling red flags. red flags. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so we when you have a list to work like, by, yeah. Um, obviously you don't have to be like, there's things that you'll be regimental with. Um, I, I think, you need to be regimental because if you're not regimental with certain things, you're going to accept everything and en- you're going to accept anything and everything. Okay, yeah. Um, I think that's what I was trying to get at. Yeah. I think we we're basically trying to say the same no, we'll point in the, the sense that, we'll that to the same place. You, you are able to weigh up what is your non-negotiables and what yeah. things you can sort of like let go of like Hence, what type of things are the you main have 80%, boxes to be ticked. guys yeah like you, you run with it <laughs> <laughs> you run with it and you make it work because yeah. you are never going to have 100 percent. that's true you are not 100 percent of a person um, it's true you are not it's true are, it's I true can, i can tell you categorically that you are not 100%. now we're gonna get onto that i feel this episode is gonna be good because we're gonna have to look at ourselves in a second um, look in the mirror but before we get there Sha, let's talk let's talk about our list yeah i feel like we should what open up a little bit what's one thing that's high on your list and what's one thing that you could probably let go of if okay. like you said 80 percent of the things are ticked? okay so i have <laughs> do you know what yeah it doesn't have to be I'll everything you, you don't my, have to say um, everything it can be a few nah. things i'll tell you my um i'll tell you two non-negotiables okay um, but these are quite broad, which is fine. Doesn't need um, to be, doesn't. Need but to be if I sense you don't have any sense of any of these two, <laughs> don't look at me. Okay. Don't look at my direction, basically, because it it just will never work. Mm. So my first one is someone who fears God. That's just because of my faith. Snap. Um, yeah, you have to. If you don't, don't worry about me. Don't worry about me, sweetheart. Mm. Um, and the second one is someone who really values family life. Okay. And in the same breath, someone who f- who values community. Okay. Because um, community is big to me. Everyone who knows me knows how much I hold people to high regard, be my friends, be my family. Mm. Um, those are like the proximal community. Yeah. And I do believe in helping people outside of that. So that's got to be important to you. Okay. 
Um, something that I can let slide. <laughs> I know exactly what she's gonna say, and I hope what? it's what I'm thinking. It's gonna be something physical. <laughs> Come on, man. That one goes without saying. It's gonna be something physical. <laughs> something silly like a beard. Am I right? I knew it. Do you know what? No, not the beard. Height. Height. I'm thinking, you know what? Height. You. I'm like, height. Be honest. It's more likely you'd give up a beard than you'd give up somebody that's, that's um, tall. <laughs> okay, that you mean? know, okay. Let me say, I just feel like I personally can't date someone that's, that I have to look. Right now, you, you don't feel that. Well, we don't know what's in God's will. You haven't... Had, you, well, you might have thought... This is what I'm saying. You know what? I feel like... Just because I feel like it, it doesn't mean God is going to agree with my feelings. Oh, let's just pray that um, in a few years, when it, we're walking down me down the aisle, we don't pull up this episode. We um, might have to erase it off the face of the earth because we actually never know. Oh, Yeah, it's going to be something physical. Yeah. I said they have to be Nigerian Yoruba. Oh. Tall. Oh, damn and you. have a beard. But I said, however, this is workable. Okay, fine. This, Good, at least I can I'm... work around that. <laughs> <laughs> That's one thing I can work around. Mm. What else is something that I can work around? Um, you know, it's so funny. I didn't put anything on my list that I could work around. Fairs. So mine is similar. Like, I didn't put anything physical on mine at all. Yeah, um, but you're not. I didn't put anything I'm, physical I feel like I'm mine. the more physical one out of me and you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the more shallow one. <laughs> In some... Um, how do you say it? Retrospect. Yeah, in some regards. Um, <laughs> I feel like, yeah, for me, so my list is very much to do with the person, to do with the spirit, to do with... Yeah. Um, no, guys, my full list is about other. that. This, yeah, I'm the saying- Nigerian thing is the last <laughs> thing on the list. Don't do that because you're making me look like I'm some... Nah, I'm playing, guys. We know Dami <laughs> is not superficial in that sense, but I just feel like um, it would have. It was funny because I knew, I knew. That's the only thing that I can I work knew. around. I'm so sorry. The other um, stuff, you've got to have it. Up yeah, exactly. <laughs> Mine is in a similar regard. Fears God, um, affectionate. Mm. Allows me to be myself. That's literally like I used examples of relationships that I love to create this list in some respects, and then also thought about what I need for myself. Yeah. Um, consistent, secure in himself. Um, I think securing man. himself is it goes nicely with like allows me to be myself and I can yeah. be free. Um, generous in spirit. I'm just trying to think. I don't think any of these can be left to the wayside. But in terms of like a number someone one, someone who's generous, yeah, someone who's um, kind, yeah, has a personality. I put there yeah. that is so funny of me. Someone who's charming. I want to be charmed. Charisma. Um, like yes, charisma. Like um, can be empathetic. Yeah. Understands his duty and can be responsible. But like can also, be or is. <laughs> um, understands his duty and can res- can be responsible. I mean, like responsibility might falter. <laughs> No, no, I'm on. saying like, I like, feel like I might have to pick up the reins at some point. No, but point. that's 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 like that's partnership. But I mm. feel like some we need we, we need someone that is responsible because then there are people that are irresponsible. Yes, no, that's what I'm saying. The person can be responsible. I mean, maybe it's a Nigerian in me. I feel like that's such a Nigerian way of saying it. Can, can you be res- you can, can be respons- you can be responsible. You can but be I'm driven. Just saying, I'm you saying that be, as someone is res- someone that is yeah, responsible. That's the essence. Be of a what responsible I was person. Say. Okay, the thing that I think I could probably let go of. Let me hear it. Because I, I don't know. I put not too talkative. But even then, Sha, I don't want. No, nah, I think you can, you can deal with someone who's chatty. But chatty to you. My thing is. <laughs> I, read, I think yeah. my not too talkative was we very both, much we like both a had chatty, this, chatty. though. We both had this. I think yeah. we both said, well, I said not always, not always the loudest in the room. <laughs> like. <laughs> I like the way I like envision my partner is you walk into a room and the aura. I knew you were going to say something. It's just yeah, just the way you carry yourself. Uh, That's all I want. Typical, (laughs) typical, typical. You don't have to talk for people to notice you. Here she goes. Here she goes with her alpha male. (laughs) I stop. I didn't say. I'm being silly. I'm being silly. I didn't say that. I'm being out of order now. But maybe that's what suits me best. Anyways, (laughs) Anyways, <laughs> that comes back. Oh my day! I'm more of a. Um, you walk into the room like mysterious, mysterious guy. Okay, not the mysterious energy. That's fair. What I like. No, fair enough. I do feel like might not be who I end up with because I feel like I'm quite kind of mellow. I think yeah. If the two of you were mellow, I'll just be thinking, oh, 
No, but I feel like I'm mellow, but I, I'm not as mellow as the person walking to the room and just being a mysterious person. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. I'm not that mellow. <laughs> yeah, no. No, I'm not that mellow. I think I do enjoy it. It depends on what you're after. Do you know what? I was thinking about this the other day. Do you want somebody that's like similar vein or do you want the yin to your yang? Because you know how I say my mom is extroverted, my dad is introverted. Do you want somebody, a relationship that's like that where it's like one extreme and the other extreme? Yeah. Or do you want to be I don't quite feel like close? I could be with someone who's as... <laughs> nah, grab grabs a lot. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. It's not fine. It's something that I'm working on. Okay, no, let's but, get there then. Let's talk but, about um, it. Because what about us? It's something Sorry, that I'm working you. on. Gosh. Um but um I can't have someone that's matching me first in my in my um in my grab. But that's not necessarily extrovertedness. Mm. Um could I date an extrovert? Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Don't look at me like I owe you anything. I think some people are extroverted in the right places. Yeah. I don't mind that. Balance is important. I don't mind that. But some people are just a lot to deal with at Mm. all times. I feel like if you are a lot to deal with, a lot to take in at all times, then it's going to be harder. It's just, it won't, we won't like get to, we won't, yeah. So we won't work. Let me just conclude. So I think I do prefer the yin to my yang. Fine. I I think I'm in the middle, though. Mm. So that's what kind of makes it difficult for me. Because mm. I'm not always extroverted. You're not always but I'm not always introverted, ever. <laughs> You're complex. <laughs> I am, I'm complex. I think we're all complex humans, man. It is what it is. We're not always going to be out there. We're going to want times when we want to just be, to our, yeah. be in our own space, man, our own zone. That's so crazy. But even, like, at parties, I will be the one that is in the back of the room. Standing on the wall. <laughs> Um, nah, <laughs> but I don't know. I don't know. I actually us. don't know. That's a good question. Or you that know. is that is ready to learn us rather. Yeah, I think that's what we have to look for because no one's going to fully understand us. But like something to think about. I think I think we have to go back <laughs> and like these are things that we have to continually like reassess and continually reevaluate. I feel like the last person I dated was an extrovert. Ish. Okay. Ish, but I also feel like you need an ish person as well. You don't want somebody that's on one end of the spectrum whilst you're kind of in the middle. Yeah, you, I need someone that's that's what I said. I need someone that's can, that can do both. Yeah, chameleon. Um, yeah, because <laughs> if, if, if it's my day to be an introvert, you be the extrovert. <laughs> if it's your day to be an introvert, Can I'll you be imagine the extrovert. sitting down and being like, "Look, this is how it's gonna go today. I'm feeling hype. So in that case, I'm gonna need you to read it in, sir. That would be too funny. No, that would be Jake. We're planning um, our um, personality. Trip. Can you imagine <laughs> planning your personalities before you guys head out? But I think it's good for us to talk about that. Though, no, because it actually makes you that. think. It makes you think. Because even then, the other day, like we were talking about talk. We were talking about talking about this, right? Before we did come and talk about this crazy. Why did I why do I make things so long winded? But nonetheless, we were saying how it's great for us to say like our dating experiences haven't been necessarily the greatest because of the other parties involved. But what about say that us? again? I said it's all well and good for us to say like yeah, the yeah, yeah. experiences that we've had have not been amazing okay. because of the other parties involved. Mm-hmm. Um but what about what us? Thing? Like we were talking about how we're working on certain characteristics. No, you've got to work, we want you've got certain to work things from people, but are we able to give them? Have we been the best versions of ourselves <coughs> in the past, like in the dating experience? Yes, I have. I would say probably not. Huh? I would say probably not. Oh, I what, been yourself? The, like I haven't been the best version of that. No, I wasn't that in your school. <laughs> Can you imagine? How dare I? How dare I? No, I think I've been the best version of myself at all times. That me. There's nothing wrong with me. <laughs> <laughs> dummy, dummy, dummy. There's nothing wrong with me. I'm joking. You guys know I'm joking. There's a lot wrong with me. <laughs> God forbid. God forbid. No, no we, I'm joking. We, there's not a lot wrong with me, but there's stuff that I do want to work on yeah, as a person absolutely. that I think would benefit my partner. Absolutely. Like, I you think wanna go for first? me... Yeah, I will go first. Don't worry. I feel like I've always been... I've always been the type of person that I want to be considered. Like, just consider me. Consider consideration, I think, is an umbrella for so many different things. But have I necessarily been the most considerate? Um, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. Something Ooh. I'm working on, though. What? I'm going to say this because I've been thinking about it a lot recently. But because you said you don't feel like you've been considerate, but I feel like you're probably like one of my most 
not one of my most, but most of all of my friends are considerate. Yeah. Because I thought I would say that you're a considerate person. Do you think? Uh, do you but know I would say that based on our relationship. Okay. I was going to say, do you feel like you treat your friends the same as how you treat your Like if I'm partner? in a relationship. I feel like in the past... I'm a difficult person to deal with. I say this every, almost every episode. I'm not the easiest person to deal with. Same. Um, I feel like... That's probably why we're friends. There's, we just understand each other's madness. We shall get ourselves. <laughs> um, but I do feel like in the past... Hmm, it's an interesting one. I think part it's something my, to think about. It's something to think about. And part of my... And I don't know if this is like... This is going to be controversial. It probably is. But I do feel like sometimes when you date someone and you like let's say i haven't gone through the list and i haven't figured out whether this is the type of person i really like you come to realize you don't really like them because of that you're not necessarily the nicest okay you heard it here first it just happens it just happens naturally like okay it happens naturally but this is part of what we're saying guys it's not that you're being horrible to the person like in the way that you speak to them Mm -hmm, but even mm -hmm. in terms of your actions like there are some things that you do that do not consider the person because you don't fundamentally you don't really like them and i feel like that might have been the case but then that doesn't that's not nice like that's not considered no it isn't nice but so, i'm saying like that's why we have to treat everyone regardless of how you feel about them um with love i'm and saying respect. that as someone who does not always behave in that way yeah like yeah i don't want people to think that when we're on this pod we're just preaching listen as we're talking it's coming back to us like these are things that we need to tell ourselves we're putting stuff out in the air so that we actually hold ourselves accountable Accountable. and you guys can hold us accountable as well like we're not just saying this for saying sake like we hope the information we're giving you is going to help you in terms of bettering yourselves but we're also hoping that it will help us on our journey of bettering (laughs) and be better no because i'm i always say i'm a horrible person (laughs) <laughs> I'm, I'm, what's my phrase i always I say horrible i always say i'm a good person but i'm not a kind person um like or is it i'm a kind person but i'm not a good person i can't remember which i'm horrible way it is. i'm not nice but <laughs> fundamentally i'm trying to be kinder and i'm trying to be more considerate and i feel like it would definitely help me in my romantic relationships because you have to be a, there's a whole other person there's a whole other set of emotions no, you have to that you are now responsible for that's what committing being committed to a person entails and in order to do that you can't just be thinking about i want this and i want to be considered here and i need this no you have to what do they person. need as well and what do i have to let go of in terms of um, my needs and wants in this particular time to make sure that that person is also comfortable obviously not to and a isn't point constantly where you're, going out of their way not to a point where you're now in like major deficit in terms of like giving and taking that's yeah, what i'm saying yeah, like yeah. i don't f- it has to be good it balance. has to be a good balance um but there might be periods there might be seasons if you will where you are um giving more than you are getting it's a trust thing you have to trust that in the situations where you are needing and wanting of more that that person can also step up to the plate and do that it's it's but i don't think i was in the past ready to to do that in terms of give in order to get okay i feel like you're gonna say no I don't agree, but yeah. Okay. That's that's your perception of it. Um, <laughs> was that giving too much? That's your that's was your that perception. giving too much? <laughs> um, um, I'm a lover girl deep down though, so there's some things that I just can't help. That's why I'm just like, I don't think, I don't, I feel like, okay, do you know what? I get you. I can see why you say that. Do you know what I mean? Like, I feel like as there's being a lover girl and there's... There's like, being a lover girl and only wanting to be loved and not necessarily doing the doing it back the other side of things yeah like um for you to be a lover girl means you have to receive love from someone yeah and for the other person to be a lover boy i guess they have to receive love from you yeah or to be someone in love they have to receive love from you and i can see why yeah so like um, yeah yeah when i think back i'm like okay cool. that's what i'm saying i'm trying to say i feel like the new me <laughs> reformed me has changed in the sense that i've now realized that i need to also give more or be more considerate or more be more kind yeah. and more this and the other than just wanting to be on the receiving end that's not right yeah because it's a two-way street and i feel like so it's it, growth it stems from like in the moment yeah putting yourself first yeah when, when you should actually be thinking trying about to think other about person. the other person exactly <laughs> yeah <sighs> individualism um, my one is in. not this deep because we're not no <laughs> 
no capacity. Can mine is guess? just. Mine is just. I'm I'm super shady today. I don't know what's going on. What got into me? If you know me, you probably will know. This is this is this is true. I feel like. <laughs> Stop laughing. Sorry. I'm trying to be serious. I, no, I'm um, stop. I know one of my biggest problems, one of my one flaw that I'm really trying to work on. I think I've done okay with. What do you think? Stay the floor first, and then we can talk about whether we've made progress. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just gonna read it how I rate it here because I don't want to <laughs> make any excuses for myself. No stories. But I basically said my mouth is very slick. Um, yeah. My mouth is very slick, but I'm toning it down entirely. Mm. Um, if I always say, if you know me, one of my favorite lines is chat to me nice. If, if I feel like you're not chatting to me nice, when you actually might be chatting to me nicely. <sighs> yeah, sigh. Deep sigh. <laughs> but it's like, to say I chat need to, to do, me nice, I need to do the you same. need to also chat to me nice. I need to nice. also be talking to you yep. nicely. And yep. I feel like, yeah, God sees my heart. It's something that I'm really working on we need to be working i working think that's on. fair um collisions for six we did that verse i said mm. <laughs> mm. we've said we said it in our 25 lessons, lessons to, 25. to 25 like you can say things but you can say things in a nice way yep there's a way to um, say things you don't have you to be, be honest but you don't have to be mean about you don't have it have to be frank all the time i'm very like frank most mm. of the time um or I'll just wait and say anything. Um, but Which now is, I'm now I'm trying to actually take a minute to think before I speak. Yeah, I think um, it's good. And, and think about how I would like for someone to tell me this. And if you tell me things in a certain way... You're going to be more receptive. Yeah, like I'm less likely to be jump on, on the, the fence. Yeah. I'm quite a defensive person. Not as much as I used to be, but I'm still... On the defensive side, I feel like I'm getting better. Mm. Um, so that paired with a mouth that's very <laughs> quick, yeah, it's not a good, it's not a good, it's not a good mix. I think I don't think they're good traits. The um, bottom line of what we're trying to say is essentially like treat. We need to treat how we want to be treated. Yes, because um, that's the same for me as well. Like although mine was deep, I oh that's perfect. Spiral, but it's like we need to work on that. Yeah. So like if we know that our list is how we want to, <clears throat> what we're looking for in a partner we need to begin to consider what that partner if we were to meet somebody that has those things might want to yeah. oh, what does it look like them. are we able to give um them the best version of ourselves yeah and um, i say that's perfect because it as soon as you said it it made me think of obviously we're reading john currently mm. when we think of the verse where god says where jesus says God says they're both the same yeah sorry jesus god <laughs> jesus basically says the commandment my commandment to you is to love each other like you love yourselves yep. or to love something along those lines yeah um we'll put the the scripture but it is basically to love your neighbor yeah and loving your neighbor means treating them how you want to be treated yep. Yep. um I think yeah. Love at the end of the day is essentially how exactly. do you want to be treated? How do you tre- how do you want to be treated? And treat love that is person that treating pe- treating someone in a particular way. Um, um, how they deserve and how they also want to be loved as yeah. well, um, including love language. Yeah, love languages because that will then define how you love them. But in the s- the bottom line is that you treat them nice because you want to be treated nice, um, and doing what you can to make sure that they feel that way. Mm-hmm. Um, and the then time. allowing it to become like. Your fundamental mm-hmm. person, your approach, um, yeah, to people generally. Not that you're being nice because you want something in return. Absolutely not. If that's people not don't, being if nice. people are not receptive to you being nice, then that's their loss. I'm sure they will come running back because people always come running back. <laughs> but, um, and even if they don't come running back, it is what it is. Like it's there's no love always. lost. You know when people say no love lost, I get the concept. No love like, lost. I still love like, you the same way, man. Regardless <laughs> of the outcome, like yeah. it is what it is. Um, and it's doing things like you said without the. It's doing things for people without the co- without the the need for them to do something back. Mm-hmm. Um, I know I've been saying like give a little to get a little, but I'm talking about in essence of partnership, and it's not like you're entitled to. Does that make sense? I don't know how to explain myself now. Yeah, no. There's a lack of entitlement, but it's almost like you can trust that the person is going to give you what you need when you need it. I think that's a better way of putting it. Yeah. Um, So that what I'm saying is not misconstrued. Yeah. I feel like we've been very introspective here. 
at least we've tried to be, so they should applaud us. Clap for us. <laughs> <Round of applause. laughs> no, like, um, it would have been too easy for us to come here and sit down and talk about how bad our dating XP has been, like, our dating experiences have been. Um, because of the quality of men. Like, because the quality of men ain't great. I mean... Is the quality of the <laughs> Don't look at me. And I'm lost. <laughs> um, I don't have an answer. Two things can be true at the same time, child. Let's put it like that. It's not yeah, necessarily yeah. that um, there is the best pick of the bunch out there, but then we also could do some work ourselves to make sure that we are um, the better, mm. are better, so that our yeah, our dating are experiences better. are better. Do you know what I mean? Um, so please because we've been introspective and because we've been open and because we've been honest i think we deserve a five star i'm so dead and it's so funny that you say that um <laughs> what did you say what you said a better we're working on ourselves so that we have better dating experiences no we're working on ourselves so that we can't complain that our dating experiences are poor just because of men but more oh so okay yeah, yeah, yeah we know that we've given the best version of ourselves so then we can say the downfall is men yeah. only. And <laughs> I, was, I was looking at my list and like that's actually the first prayer point on my list. <laughs> that's so what funny. in terms of like um, help. Um, so like God helping me to become a better person for my future spouse. Okay, yeah, that's definitely a point. Yeah, um, I think there's obviously so this is part lot, of that. Yeah, this is part of that. I feel like a lot of what we've said today, a lot of what we've said in the previous episode is more so like the fundamentals of your person. Yeah. But by transitivity, your future spouse will benefit because of, of the, course, the better, you're a better person, person that you are. Um, and I feel like, yeah, like what I was trying to get at was very much like we're, we're working on ourselves mm -hmm. for ourselves, but also because we want person. our dating re yeah. experiences to be better and we can't look back and for be the like, people you know that what? are going to eventually better. end up with us. Yeah. Um, um, but nonetheless, not the like, timed ums. <laughs> what did you say? We keep on saying um together. Oh, do we actually? I'm screaming. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, no, I think that's it. I don't think I have much else to say. No, I just wanted to say because then we get start getting into sticky territory that we don't like. Sticky territory in terms of dating. Oh, like saying problematic things. I don't even like the problematic things. Just the wishy, the wishy washy things. Yeah. I think what we've said is very much the fundamentals. We've spoken about the dating yeah. experience. We've spoken about the dating landscape and how it's difficult to navigate because times have changed. Um, and I would just want to reiterate that for my mum because I know she listens to the pod. But at yeah, the so same adults time... Adults that listen, times are not the same. <laughs> but I think they're understanding have, that now, though. They're growing to understand that. But there are also some parents out there that don't get it. No, they don't. Um, and they're very much like, ah, what's what's holding you back what's what's stopping you do you get it but honest to god like um the landscape is a little different now and it's because of an array of things we spoke about individualism we spoke about social media we spoke about cost of living crisis um mm -hmm. we spoke about our own dating experiences what we love about what we've seen in our role models we spoke about um what we're working on what we're working on in ourselves to make sure that we are also better partners and what our non-negotiables um, what our non-negotiables are um and what things our list we can of let slide. huh <laughs> things we can, things let we can probably let slide um and just generally i'm still undecided if i can let it slide so damn me don't mind me don't mind me <laughs> <laughs> oh and i thought we made progress but nonetheless guys and um, be encouraged i think that was the main yeah the main point be of encouraged us be here. encouraged it wasn't meant to be like a hot gist and sit down and, and chat about like you were saying the sticky territories and the wishy-washies like it was meant to be as informative as it can be it yeah. was meant to be reflective like most of our episodes have been this season and to be honest like the season is drawing to a close so it was important we spoke about this we've got one more episode left after this yep um, one more episode will come to you this guys we're giving you the drop in advance one more episode left um, so give us all the support you can no literally we really appreciate it so we can come back well. <laughs> um, so yeah this episode is coming to an end now guys thank you so much for listening, listening. make sure you subscribe to us on YouTube you listen to us on all audio platforms we are the sistership on everything Twitter Instagram TikTok included and we will see you guys soon bye guys see ya